Chances are, if you're watching this, you tried to build the non-committer and your old lady booted you out of the house. That's alright. Even a cowboy steps in shit sometimes. I've got the solution for you. Right here, it's the bachelor, and it might be what you're looking for. Let's take a look inside. As you can see, the bachelor is simply a dormitory fridge. They're cheap, you can get them all day long in Craigslist. Um, they make great kegerators, and after you're done with them, you can convert them back to a regular refrigerator. And I'll show you how to do that later. But first, let's take a look at the components within The Bachelor. The most important thing to do when you're shopping for a fridge for The Bachelor is to bring your keg and your CO2 tank and actually place them within the fridge just to see if they fit. In the back, you have a compressor, and that compressor takes up some space. So you want to make sure that it fits and it doesn't impede the progress of the door. Of course, within the door, you're going to remove the plastic. This example of The Bachelor has already been in service for a couple years, but I'm going to show you how to build it anyways. When choosing a place to put the shank, it's really important to open up the bachelor, take off the plastic, and put your keg inside. And your goal, obviously, is to center it up, but also from top to bottom, where do you want to put it? Remember that your shank, depending on how long it is, is going to poke through on the other side. And you want to place it so that it, A, misses the top of the keg in there, and B, this is the fin, and the fin will build up ice on these over time. So somewhere in between there. And remember that the tailpiece, after the washer, is going to stick out even more. So you want to avoid both places. As far as drilling the hole goes, it's quite simple. Get your 22 millimeter or 7 8 drill bit, hole cutter. Hook it to your drill, and drill right through. Super easy, and this will also help you make a mash ton on the other end. Assembling the shank is quite easy. Likely you bought it in a set, so it's going to have everything you need. After you drill the hole, slide the shank through, and then put the locking nut on here. They sell wrenches, but you don't really need to get on it with that much tightness. So finger tight just does fine, or if you have a crescent wrench, that's okay too. After you lock it down, you're going to make sure you put your washer on here, and then put your tailpiece on. After you've got all that all together, put your six feet or whatever you did in the keg balancing video, put that hose on there and connect the other end to a disconnect. Assuming you want to return the bachelor to its previous state, you'd pull out the shank and I can recommend getting a solid stopper here and putting it in the hole. It won't look the prettiest, but it'll get you back to putting food in here instead of beer. That's the bachelor.